Hello, everybody. I'm Marjo Gortner, back at you again. A lot of you wondered uh, whatever happened to me many years ago. Well, I went to, I, I dropped out, turned on, and tuned in, as Timothy Leary once said. And uh, then I came back and I wanted to preach a gospel about peace, love, and happiness. But no one wanted to hear that. They wanted to hear fire and brimstone. So I reverted to that. But then I went to a church uh, in a big city. I can't remember the name of it, but it was a big, not Chicago, but it was a large city. And I only had like five people uh, in the church. And I was um, I had a Corvette Stingray that was about to be repossessed. And I picked up the paper and I saw a little an ad that said Jerry Lee Lewis performing. And I knew that he was the son of a preacher man. So I got a seat down front and uh, listened to him play. And I went back and I said, uh, Brother Jerry, I'm, I'm a preacher and I'm out here and I'm dying. And uh, my Corvette automobile is going to be repoed. And if you'd come out on Sunday and uh, just uh, sing Amazing Grace, I could make some money and pay my payments and get the hell out of Dodge. And he said, well, I'll be there, son. And so I gave him the address and everything of the church. And I, I went back, that was, say, on a Tuesday or Wednesday. And I went back and I said, I went down to the very ranks of hell. And I met with Brother Jerry and we prayed. And he's going to come to church. I'm going to play Amazing Grace this coming Sunday. So I did this every night. And the crowd started to pick up a little bit. But come Sunday, I don't know if it was by word of mouth or how it happened. Uh, but there were children sitting in the aisles. The place was packed. And up drove Jerry Lewis in, I believe it was a, a pink Cadillac. He had a, seven Cadillacs, one different color each day of the week, just like some of my dining room chairs. <laughs> That's a personal joke. Uh, any, anyway, he came in and sang, you know, and run the finger down the thing and sang Amazing Grace. And uh, the place was packed and I raised enough money to get out of town. And uh, that was that. And they cut to on the, uh, the Troubadour or someplace on Sunset Strip. He was playing... And I went into his, I said, tell him Brother Marge was here. The guy came and brought me backstage. And uh, and he brought me backstage and he said, uh, Brother, you can't hide from God. And he cracked a whiskey bottle and put the glass right up to my head. Anyway, this is a picture of uh, me and him together with an old girlfriend of mine. Uh, and that's the killer. And that's my story about Jerry Lee Lewis. Thank you all for joining us.